the biggest cost predominantly is staff. And everybody was talking about return on investment, about uh, uh, all sorts of ratios and financial parts of the balance sheet, but not about staff. So I got intrigued. So I quit banking, traveled the world, studied here and there to, to make a solution about how to economize on staff, uh, how to capitalize on staff. I developed a um, program for that, which I'm now uh, sharing with companies globally, it's called Mental Bridging. And uh, recently, two years ago, it was investigated with the help of the Dutch State Scientific Institute, TNO, and they proved uh, my program was working indeed. People were more happy, more effective, had more time for themselves. Uh, actually, all things improved and more money was made. So uh, I enjoyed that, thanks to TNO. And everybody, of course, was interested, how did you get to the knowledge? Where did you get it from? How come it works? Well, I'm going to share a bit with that with you. Uh, but before we start, uh, I need to tell you that this space now is a dojo. Now, a dojo is a place where uh, martial art is practiced. It used to be in the temple in front of the shrine. Today, it's every place where you practice martial art. There are lots of rules at a dojo. won't bother you with most of them. However, we have to formally open the session. Now, how does it work? Uh, the pupils stand up. Please stand up. Uh, I'm the teacher for tonight, and we bow to each other on the command of re, which means bow. Re. Hi, thank you, and please sit down. So the lesson is opened. Um, interestingly, what just happened? What happened? What happened was that when you guys were bowing, you bowed to the past. And at the same time, I was bowing to you, hence I was bowing to the future. So past and future meet in the here and now. Now, what's the here and now? We're going to do a little exercise for that. I'm going to ask you to count your breathing. How do you do that? You breathe in, you breathe out, you count one. Breathe in, breathe out, you count two. Breathe in, breathe out, you count three. You do that till you're at ten. Then you continue breathing. However, counting starts again as from one. Now, if at three you fall asleep, not a problem, just start again at one. If you're counting 44 and thinking, oh no, doesn't tell, not to worry, just start again at one. We do this for a period. Starts with a clap in the hand, ends with a clap in the hand. And in this period, the only thing you do is concentrating on your breathing. That's the exercise. So I'm not asking you to wiggle, I'm not asking you to scratch your head, and I'm certainly not asking you to think about something else. So please don't. Please sit as straight as possible. And do your best. Hi. So how did that go? I'll guide you through the answers. Did you notice that thoughts popped up? Thoughts about things that you did today? Thoughts, so that's the past. Or thoughts about things in the future, like when you're thirsty, you would like to have a drink later, or uh, for God's sake, how long is this going to take? Those are thoughts of the future, right? So when your thoughts are either busy with the past or with the future, you're missing out on life. Because life is only available at this very moment, which is already gone. Then there's a new moment. So if you're not in the here and now with your thoughts, you're missing out on life completely. Right? Now, typically in the West, we would say, ah, yes, I understand. This is intellectually not very challenging. Thank you, now I know it, what's next? Well, that's the knowledge that, right? And we're very good at the knowledge that. But of course, what you would like to know is the knowledge how, the know-how. 
And in order to, to get to the know-how, one has to practice. And I practice with the Japanese sword, because in the Japanese sword, all the knowledge which is necessary for a successful uh, and pleasant and harmonious fulfilling life is contained in the sword. And by working with the sword, one takes it out. Um, for example, Toyota, known for the Toyota way and lean management and CMI and what have you, they completely based their knowledge upon the Japanese sword. I just did a postdoc lean management. It's all sword techniques. They don't translate it, they apply it into the business. So what I'll do for you is I'll give you a demonstration, a embu it's called, uh, with some techniques and some stories and kata with the sword, uh, the way it's still practiced today in Japan. And if you look carefully and if you look deep, uh, you can see exactly what you need to be happy in a fulfilling life.
So now you know everything. So, um, quickly, volunteer. You. Yes, quickly, quickly, we're running out of time. Quickly, come up here. We'll do a quick exercise. I'll just take some, some lessons out of it and make it more clear for you. Hi. So, can you make a fist, please? Okay, links for rechts achter. Hi. Okay, so now you push with your fist as hard as you can. Push, 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 push. More, 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 more. Okay, more. Okay, just hold it firmly. This is a tricky moment. If it slips, slips off, this is what happens. So I'm going to ask you to do this, but make sure the fists stay on each other and push as hard as you can with your neighbors. Please. Hi. Thank you. Blijf me even hier. Blijf me even hier. Yes, stand up. Stand up and push with the fists. Ja, dat begrijp ik. Push harder, please. Push harder. More power. Okay, thank you. Yes, you can, you can you stay, stay, just stay standing, please. Um, a question. Is this... Um, I, no, I'll, okay. Uh, do you use energy when you do this? Yes, you use energy, and then the more you push, the more energy you use. Is there a result? No. So you use energy, if you push hard, lots of energy, no result. Is this smart to do? <laughs> no. This is what you guys do all the time. You know, all the time, it's my ego against your ego, my department against your department, my logo or company against your company. You know, all the time, this is happening. Waste of energy. So then, what is the answer? Well, the answer is the following. I invite you again. You make a fist. I make open hand. I connect. You push, push. Push. More pushing, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try this. First one, then the other. And, you know, the open hand and see what you get. Hi, thank you. Amira. Amira, okay. And change, please. Okay, thank you. So, so now what happened? What did you experience? More fun, good. Why? You were connected more? Less energy. Were you in charge? Yes, you were in charge. You were in control, you were in balance, and you could you know, steer the one who was actually you know, putting all this energy. You could steer the energy. You were managing it, right? Okay, so, um, so now we felt this, so please sit down, and you've got the feeling now. You know what it is. Um, the metaphor behind the fist is the mask. You go to your job. You know, in my time, I had, a, I had a pinstripe, and I had learned that in banking, because no one understands, uh, when you look just like serious, mm, why do you look so difficult? Well, it's very serious. I haven't a clue, but it's very serious. You know, that helps. It gives the impression like you know what you're talking about. No one does. But, uh, okay. So that was the mask and the pinstripe and the mm, behavior. Uh, that was the fist, right? Um, the open hand is actually be who you are. Just be who you are, you know, from your power within. Not with power, but the power within. And imagine. This is Amira. Imagine I'm a very good actor, and I make a, a study of uh, uh, Amira, uh, you know, including a redesign of myself, uh, becoming a woman, and I study her for a year, and after a year I'm going to try to perform to be Amira. You know, under these perfect circumstances, having been studying her for a year 24-7, you know, I'm a good actor, so I've got talent, I won't get further than 65, maybe 70%, right? Now, Amira, when she is Amira, she is the best. Actually, there's no one on this planet who can do Amira so good as Amira. You know, she excels. This is like so good and so natural. When she's only herself, this is what Grammy Awards, Oscars, red carpets, all the boys, Amira, <laughs> you know, only by being herself. Just by being herself. And the good news is, there's no effort in being yourself. It's effortless. 
So you excel when being yourself. It becomes difficult when you're trying to camouflage yourself, you know, and put effort, a mask, and all sort of things around you to do whatever you think is necessary in order to get the job done. It doesn't work that way. Just be yourself. Work from within. And then things go naturally. Thank you very much, Amira. Thank you. します。